Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star Baby. When I say I'm hot. After that, the live stream message got your girl sweats. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Let me cut up, kick up the speed on my little fan. Because, baby. Anywho, I'm here with the dream. It is the second part to the dream that. It's the second part to the dream that I released for the live stream. Well, I don't want to say the second part because they really separate dreams, but I had them all at once. But anywho, in his dream, I hear a woman talking about leaving her ex. And um, she was basically very happy that she made that decision. And she was saying that she met a great guy and the guy treats her very well. And he spoils her with a ton of purses. And she was showing the purses that he give, that he had given her. And y'all already know, you know what I'm saying, for obvious reasons, that your girl love her. I love purses, okay? I love purses. And as I've said several times before, this is light work. This is light work. This is light work. This is light work, okay? You want to see how many purses I had in my past? You can look on my old channel, on my other channel, Tamara Janelle, where I have videos of the things that I had, I had all kinds of furs, purses, shoes, all kind of stuff, baby. Anywho, she was showing these purses and in the dream I saw them, I was like, those are special edition. They wasn't just any kind of, like they were special edition Louis Vuitton purses. And for those of y'all that know, Louis Vuitton releases, they, they have different collections, okay? And some of the collections, they are like one time only, you get in, you get out special edition Louis Vuitton purses. Now, why you can buy some of these on the resale market? This is true. I knew that she didn't get these off the resale market because baby, or he didn't, because they were brand, like God said, brand spanking new, okay? And they had her name hot stamped on them. And it was like little sweet nothings, like sweet words on it. Like what he, not only did he get her name hot stamped, he would... Put like, you know, a little special little baby. And I'm looking at that like, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, screw baby. Anywho, um, at the end of this dream, after she saw, shows these different purses that he had gotten her with the special edition going on, um, she starts complaining about how she wishes her friend would make up her mind. Okay, so let me get the scripture comes from Jubilees. Thirty seven and eight. And they said to him, this too is exactly your mode of action from your youth until this day. And you are putting your neck under his yoke. We will not listen to these words. God said for somebody. That you know you are not being treated the way you deserve to be treated. You know you are not being treated the way you deserve to be treated. And I just feel like this is somebody you praying for your relationship. You praying for your marriage. You praying for your spouse. Whoever it is that you see as your spouse, you keep praying that this person will go ahead and act right. You keep praying that this person will treat you right. You keep praying that this will happen and that will happen. And maybe if some kind of miracle will happen, that they'll, you know what I'm saying? You keep saying anything could happen. And, and including this person going ahead, this joker, go ahead and get it together. God said it ain't going to happen. Okay? And the angels are tired of hearing your prayers about this person and thinking that they finna just like I, I just feel like they and it's not to say God can do anything. He can. The angels can do anything that God, you know, permits them to do. They can. But here's the thing. This is a person, whoever this person that you see as your spouse, they don't wanna. They don't wanna. They refuse. And you know, the thing about someone refusing, we all have free, free will. When somebody refuses to do something like this here, 
it's a situation where they know they treating you wrong. They know they're not treating you right. Now, this is not me saying that just because a man is not spoiling the woman that he loves, that he's mistreating her or he's doing something wrong because he's not spending thousands upon thousands of dollars on her. However, I will say that I know when a man truly is in love, when a man truly cares for a woman, he will do any and everything to ensure that she is happy and she ain't going nowhere. So the fact, if you are with somebody and they could, but they don't, it's a reason that they not. And I just feel like it's a situation where God knows this person is not treating you right. Maybe they have done these things in their past. Maybe they have done more for other people in their past. And that should be a clear sign to you that this person does not care about you the way that they should. And um, God is saying, in reality, the, like this is a situation where this person is not treating you right. And they are receiving judgment for not treating you right. But they refuse to treat you right. So this person is basically in, um, it's like a circle of wrath going around them. Like, you know, in the cartoons when they show the character walking and it's a rain cloud that's just over them. And it ain't going nowhere. It's nowhere else. Everywhere else is sunny and happy and cheerful. And it's just over that. That's what this person got going on. God said, if you truly care about this person, if you truly love this person, you will go ahead and let them go so that they can get out of the wrath of God. Because <clears throat> the more that y'all stick together and you praying that they will act right and they are refusing to act right, they putting their foot down and they refuse to act right and you refuse to receive the 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 treatment that you feel like the treatment that you are receiving, you not you don't deserve that. So you... Y'all at war with each other. And God is fighting for you because you're praying to him. He's standing in for you because you're praying to him. And you're in the Abraham covenant. You are a child of God. And this is somebody that is cursing you, basically mistreating you, basically, and treating you as if you're unworthy of the things that you are worthy of. So God is defending you while simultaneously this person is refusing to act right. It don't matter what happened to them. And I just feel like somebody that left and right, bad things keep on happening, left and right. And yes, it would be so easy for them to just act right. It will be so easy for them to go ahead and be faithful. It will be so easy for them to go ahead and take you on a date. It will be easy for them to go ahead and treat you the way you deserve to be treated. But they refuse. Long story short, why would you even want to be with this person at this point? Who wants to be with somebody that refuses to treat them the way they're supposed to be treated? For what? Like, I just feel like this person at this point, they don't even deserve to be with you. They don't deserve you. And I, I just feel God said he don't want to hear this no more. He don't want to hear it no more. He doesn't like this is you. It would be kinder for you to release that person, release them. God said, release them. So that they can go on and wreak havoc in somebody else's life and have somebody else stressed out and have somebody else crying or whatever it is they got going. Let them go. And maybe they'll find the person that's for them because they ain't it. If they was the person for you, they would treat you right. They choose not to treat you right. They choose to treat you the way that they do. They choose. This is their choice. God said it's not a situation where he has not blessed this person to be able to do the kind of things that they should. Just like, and I feel like for somebody, God has blessed you. Whatever it is that you do for this person, anytime you do something for this person, God blesses you. God blesses you so you can do it and he blesses you after. God said he does the same thing for this person and they choose not to do anything for you. They choose not to give you the love you deserve. They choose. It is a choice. They have put their foot down and they choose to mistreat you. God said you can also choose to leave them in the dust. And there's somebody in this world that will spoil you beyond the means that you even, what you thinking about is light work to the person that God will have in store for you. 
It's light work to them. It's light work to them. It's light work to them. It's nothing to them. Why in the world should you stand around waiting on somebody that is never going to change to change when you could be out with somebody that you don't have to change nothing? You don't have to sweet talk them into doing nothing. You don't have to beg them to do nothing. They just going to do it because that's how they roll. God said, go on about your business. The angels are speaking and they say they wish you would go ahead and make up your mind. And they really wish you would go ahead and take the choice to leave this person behind. Oh, that rhyme. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to. And then me saying that rhyme rhyme. <laughs> but I'm going to say go ahead and leave this person in the defeat the of dust and, and kick, kick your feet up. Okay. It's like it say, go ahead and kick your feet up. Leave the dust behind you and carry on now. That's the message. God says somebody that want to spoil you, boo. And I can stand here and say, they are being like that, okay? Because my son and father, when we was together, baby, every time I turn around, I was getting a new purse. I ain't lying. Every time I turn around, he was taking me shopping somewhere. We had this thing when we were dating before my son was born. We wasn't even in a relationship yet. He would take me on trips. And we would go to different cities in different states. And he would like take me. I, 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 this is where I fell in love with the fact that in Victoria's Secret, in the back in the day, I don't know. I don't think they do this no more. I would say, I don't know. I know they don't do this no more, but they would have certain collections that were specific for that city. And it was so cool because I would have sprays that were specific to like San Antonio. I had some for Houston. I had some for Florida. Some specific for like uh, Memphis and stuff. Like, and it was so cool to me. It was like collecting. I, I had a whole little collection of the stuff that I got from other places. But I'm just saying this to say, you know, sometimes like we really be trying to wait on somebody to get it together that don't want to get it together. They not going to get it together. And I just feel like for whoever this is for, God said, man, go ahead and let this person go. Go ahead and let them go. God said he has somebody for you. And the blessings that you have in store are greater than the nightmare that you have going. Like, it's a, I just feel like this person is, 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 is they, they cause more problems than they fix. They cause more stress. This is not, this, they ain't it. This is not somebody, oh, we, we ain't trying to do that all at all. This is not somebody, it's not where it's at. Anyways, that's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.